from our brokers. We have deployed almost $350 million through brokers just like you, and we've paid almost $3 million in fees. I want to show you guys a better gig because the rise of the gig applier or the private money broker is growing. And I'm going to show you why private money brokering is, in my opinion, the best gig economy work because it offers unlimited earning potential, flexible hours, and the ability to work from anywhere all without the grind of the traditional side hustles. Side hustles require you to be home. If you're driving for Uber, you need to be in a car in an area where you're getting paid to physically be sitting there. Instacart, you got to be driving to the grocery store back and forth, a lot of lifting. Uh, TaskRabbit, you need to be at an office somewhere where you can be working. You can obviously do this from home, um, but even freelance writing, you can do this from various places, but you have to physically be doing stuff. When you are doing gig work as a private money broker, there's a lot of outsourced things that when you get the lead and you start pushing out the work to the underwriter and the loan processor and the loan officer, a lot of the heavy lifting is being done by other people. All you're doing is simply bringing people in, ushering them off, underwriting, pre-underwriting the files, sending it off and getting paid, which gives you the ability to do a lot more business, make a lot more money in a lot less time. Now, we as a company have been doing the gig economy long before it was even a thing. Private money brokering, guys, I started private money brokering back in 2001 when I didn't have any of my own money. Uh, credit was shot, uh, didn't have my own cash. So a lot of people think, well, I want to be a private money lender eventually. And I realized that I could be a private money broker without having any money. So in 2001, I started doing private money brokering just as a way to make some extra money while I was getting my real estate fix and flip business up and going. Private money brokering allows you to work from home, gives you flexible hours. No licensing is required because we're only lending to non-owner occupied properties, uh, which gives you passive income potential and unlimited earning potential because the average fix and flipper is going to do at least three or four flips a year. So one person equals four paychecks annually. And we know that the average income from a brokered loan transaction is $3,500. If you find one customer and broker four loans, $3,500 is $14,000 annually. How much would you, how many grocery deliveries on Instacart or how many fares on Uber would you need to generate 14 grand? And by the way, that's your take home pay. Well, we lined up the opportunity side by side and here's what we came up with. An Uber driver, rideshare, Uber or Lyft, they are working on average eight hours a day, and the average take home pay of these folks is 29,000. The delivery driver, the person that might be driving for Amazon or has their own FedEx account, or um, they're just doing, uh, they're just running for various like task rabbit, they might be running uh, parcels and things around town. They're sitting in car eight hours a day, they're making 32 grand. However, the average private money broker, making $70,000 a year, and they're working four hours a week. So do you want to go eight hours a day? That's 40 hours a week to make 29. Or do you want to work 40 hours a week uh, as a delivery driver to make 32? Or do you want to work four hours a week to make 70? Now we pulled some stats just because I thought it would be interesting. 2014, we started opening, opening up this opportunity to brokers and, and teaching and training people how to participate in this broker gig economy. And since 2014, uh, we have paid 527 individual brokers. I can't tell you how many of these individual brokers have received multiple paychecks, but I can tell you that we've, we've paid out 527 individuals over that 10 year span. Okay. Now we do this nationwide. The average payout is $3,500, but in this period of time, we've deployed $346 million. Now this is just to our brokers. Okay. These are just on loans that come to us from our brokers. We have deployed almost $350 million through brokers, just like you. And we've paid almost $3 million in fees, broker fees, 3 million bucks. Why? Because it's a high, demand industry and real estate remains the top long-term investment of choice, meaning there will be a huge demand 
for private money brokering. Now, regarding real estate, 36% of respondents said real estate is the best long-term investment. 22% uh, said, no, 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 it's stocks and mutual funds. 18% of the market said it's gold. Real estate wins.